Roald Dahl's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory has captivated audiences since its 1964 debut, thanks to its whimsical setting and enchanting adventures. Its sequel, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator, however, took a dark and fantastical turn that diverged significantly from the original's charm, which might explain why it has never been adapted into a movie. The 1971 film adaptation, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, starring Gene Wilder, successfully brought Dahl's magical world to life with its vibrant portrayal of the iconic chocolate maker. Tim Burton's 2005 remake, featuring Johnny Depp, and the recent 2023 prequel Wonka, starring Timothée Chalamet, further explored the enigmatic chocolatier's origins. Yet, despite this cinematic interest, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator remains notably absent from the big screen. Released in 1972, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator diverges dramatically from the light-hearted tone of its predecessor. While the original film enchanted audiences with imaginative settings and playful transformations, the sequel introduces darker elements. In this story, Charlie's grandparents undergo terrifying transformations due to Wonka's rejuvenation pills, necessitating a perilous journey to Minus Land, a realm filled with spirits and monstrous creatures known as Gnoulies. The transition from the chocolate factory to this ominous underworld marks a significant tonal shift. The grotesque and unsettling nature of Minus Land, combined with the sequel's religious undertones, presents a stark contrast to the charming adventures of the original. Scenes depicting Willy Wonka navigating this eerie domain to rescue Charlie's grandparents' soul would likely be jarring for audiences expecting a whimsical experience. The sequel's narrative continues its unconventional path as it launches Charlie and his family into outer space aboard the Great Glass Elevator. Their unexpected journey leads them to Space Hotel USA, now overrun by the hostile vermicious nids who prey on the Oompa Loompas. The dramatic confrontation with these shape-shifting aliens, culminating in their fiery demise upon re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, further strays from the original's fantastical yet grounded adventures. The space and horror elements of Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator present a blend of science fiction and alien horror that contrasts sharply with the whimsical world of Willy Wonka. This genre shift might explain why major film studios, including Warner Brothers and Paramount, have opted to avoid adapting this sequel. The sequel's eclectic mix of themes would likely challenge audiences expecting the lighthearted magic of the original story. While Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator offers intriguing developments and a deeper exploration of the Willy Wonka character, its dramatic and genre-bending twists make it a challenging candidate for adaptation. The sequel's departure from the enchanting whimsy of the first book creates a narrative that, while fascinating, might be better suited to the realm of imagination rather than the silver screen. As Netflix recently acquired the rights to Roald Dahl's works, it remains to be seen if any future projects will revisit the sequel. For now, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator serves as a testament to Dahl's imaginative storytelling, a unique adventure that thrives best within the pages of his classic literature. <laughs>